Hi, I'm Nick Bay, and welcome to This Week in Games for Monday, the 24th of October. This is This Week in Games. Rule the This Week in Games titles. Ah, so they're the same as the old titles. We'll get someone on that. Let's continue with tradition and move forward chronologically through the list of This Week in Games, starting today through to the end of the list, and then we will end the video. Redirection is a gentle puzzle game about moving blocks into spaces where those blocks belong. You know those puzzles that are mini games in other games? That's the game. It's out on PC today, October 24th. Moving forward. October 25th brings us My Summer Car on PC, a game where you can relive the memories of your first car and how terrible it was. My first car was a 1992 white Ford Laser called Nicole. She was not terrible, however, she was my first love. Sadly, she's not with us anymore though. In April of 2012, she wandered into an auto dealership and was tragically crushed into a cube. Oh, I'm sorry, it still hurts. You know who else has a cool car though? It's Batman. Mm -hmm. And episode three of the Batman Telltale series is out on the 25th and follows Batman as he hunts down the scumbag who operated the car Cuba machine that murdered Nicole. Or Penguin, whatever. Do you hate yourself? Then play Dark Souls 3's first DLC, Ashes of Ariandel, on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Unless you're one of those lucky Xbox players who managed to download the leaked version early over the weekend. Then you've already beaten it, or it has beaten you. But take a break from murdering wolves in Dark Souls and take up a life of murdering wheat in Farming Simulator 2017 on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And then if you are having trouble sleeping because you just keep hearing the screams of all those wheat families you tore apart, then Clouds and Sheep 2 on PC will soothe those shrieking voices that will never let you rest. Finally, for the 25th, the Gwent Closed Beta starts in case you need another collectible card game in your life, which I most certainly do. On the 26th, the PC gets Hide and Shriek, a multiplayer horror game where the other players are invisible. Big Buck Hunter Arcade takes the two things that make Big Buck Hunter fun, the plastic gun and beating your drunk friends, and removes it from the game entirely. Slay Away Camp bills itself as the most violent puzzle game ever made, and Iron Fish is a deep sea psychological thriller about fish that have mated with cars to create Iron Fish. We should double check that. The 27th is a busy day for sheltered developer Might and Delight because they have two games coming out. Fables from the Den is a living book in the art style of their previous titles, and Meadow is a multiplayer sandbox where you can just roleplay as an animal. It's all the joys of being a furry without any of the cleanup. Party Golf is a couch co-op golf game with a trillion ways to annoy your friends. It also drops on the 27th for PC and PS4, and is from Tasmanian devs Giant Margarita. Giant Margarita, however, did not make Alice VR for the Rift and the Vive because they were too busy making Party Golf. That World of Final Fantasy demo you downloaded last week for PS4 and Vita? Well, in the space of just seven days, that's been turned into a full game. Amazing what we can do these days. Just Dance is something we've been doing for years, however, and 2016 is no different, with the 2017 version of Just Dance confusing everyone. And you had better be done with Battlefield 1 by the 28th, because Titanfall 2 is coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and legally you are only allowed to play one shooter at a time. But you are allowed to play two Dragon Ball Xenoverse games, which is lucky because Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 drops for PC, PS4 and Xbox One on the same day. Worried about taking a Dragon Ball to the knee? Take an arrow instead with the Skyrim Special Edition on the 28th, which you can not only get for PC, PS4 and Xbox One, but if you own the PC version with all the DLC, you get it for free. And that is all the games coming out this week that I have written down into a giant list and then filmed in an episode of This Week in Games. Nick's picks are Episode 3 of the Batman Telltale series because it's starting so strong. The Skyrim Special Edition will be a great 10 minutes while I boot up the game and confirm that all the pixels are indeed there. And the Gwent beta because while I'm not allowed to say what I thought of the game when I played it in the stress test or even confirm if I was involved in the stress test, the fact that I may or may not have been up at 2am possibly participating in a stress test that I cannot possibly say whether or not I did would say mountains about the quality of the game if I had played it. Which I did. Or didn't, I couldn't possibly say. That is it for this week in games, my pocketeers. What are your picks? Let me know in the comments below. And if there are any games I missed that you are keen on, like a high schooler in the 50s, until they next release some games, my pocketeers. Nick by Amma. One of the Wii U's best, but mostly worst features was the ability to send different information to the TV and gamepad touchscreen. That concept has been binned with the Switch as the device is required to sit in the dock in order to connect to the television. 
That's about all they've confirmed. But the more they step away from their ways of old, the more happy I am with Nintendo. Just do one thing right. Like these criminals who successfully DDoS'd Xbox Live and PSN. Maybe not like them.